Internet pictures that seem to show civilians being fired on by militia groups. The unfolding events in Iran are the biggest story in world news right now. But with foreign journalists heavily restricted, the world's traditional media is struggling to bring its fact-checking skills to bear on the flood of material from the internet. I need to know exactly where you shot these images, exactly when it was. We've set up training for our journalists so they can check internet addresses that videos have been sent from and to check the profiles of people who post them. While existing media outlets wrestle with how to cover the story, within Iran itself, thousands of people are making their voices heard. Blogs from within Tehran, social networking sites and videos like these on YouTube. It's a vast, overwhelming resource, but one with no quality control at all. The fact is we have less and less professional footage from, from Iran now and more and more amateur images and, and information provided just by Iranian people who use their mobile phones, who use their computers. This information are not professional and we have to be very careful about uh, the way we use it because we don't have any, uh, any possibility to, to check this information. But there's no doubting the power of these new media. Popular messaging site Twitter was formally asked by the US State Department to postpone a maintenance shutdown, such was its importance in giving Iranians a voice. Mainstream channels are experimenting with new ways of incorporating all this into the traditional reporter role. I think that role is more important than ever, actually, because there's so much information. A lot of the uh, things you'll find if you just go and search Iran on Twitter, you're going to get so much information, and a lot of the time it's just people offering their support, which is great, and you're going to get a really interesting picture from that. But I think what we can do here is use that to complement the more mainstream coverage. So-called citizen journalism has been around for a while, but this may be the first major news story where it's really set the news agenda. Iran's current regime obviously recognises the power of it. They're imposing widespread, heavy internet blocks. But so far, Iran's bloggers are one step ahead, telling a part of the story that traditional media can't reach.